Hello, 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 Earth Signs. I'm here to do your reading today. This is the Ebony Tarot. I am Lily, and I'm here to see who's coming towards my Earth Signs in love. I've got Earth in my chart. I don't think I've mentioned this in any other videos, but I am actually a Libra Sun, Libra Moon, and Sagittarius rising, Virgo, Venus, and Jupiter. In Vedic astrology, I am a Virgo. And I think a Cancer Moon and a Capricorn Rising or something. And a Jupiter and Scorpio and Libra Venus. So very interesting. But I follow Western astrology. Um, although whatever resonates with you resonates with you. That's just the main thing. Anyway, let's see who's coming towards Am I Earth Signs in Love? So I've got a heavy earth in my chart. Especially in my love life and partnerships. So let's see what we've got for our earth signs. I just saw the queen of pentacles. So some of you are in your element. The ace of cups just flipped over. Three of pentacles and the king of wands. Someone is very passionate about you. Someone has emotions for you that they can't contain anymore. Maybe every time they see you, they're like, for fuck's sake. That person looks good. You know? What messages, angel spirit, guys? Oshun, Orisha and Universe, what messages do you have for my earth signs? What is the overall messages for my earth signs? Thank you. What's the overall messages for my earth signs in love? Who's coming towards my earth signs in love? Overall energy, please. Mm, the four of the four of swords for the overall energy. Okay. So we're going to start off with Capricorn. Who's coming towards Capricorn? The Tower. It's coming towards Capricorn. The Nine of Wands. Who's coming towards Capricorn in love? March 2020. The Eight of Pentacles. Who's coming towards Virgo? Who's coming towards Virgo? Oh, the page of pinnacles. Who's coming towards Virgo in love? March 2020. Who's coming towards Virgo in love? The Eight of Cups. Who's coming towards Virgo in love? Oh, the Queen of Cups. Okay, interesting. And Taurus. Who's coming towards Taurus in love? The Ten of Swords wanted to flip over. Oh, the Four of Cups. Who's coming towards... Cap Taurus, sorry. He's coming towards Taurus. In love. The Chariot, okay. So, the bottom of the deck is the Fool card. So, the Fool represents new beginnings. Represents changes, taking a lip, um, taking a lisp, <laughs> taking a leap of faith, taking risks, okay? Trusting in the universe. Behind that, we have the world. Yeah, a new cycle. You're just like, I'm out. Oh, you're going into your abundance, man. Oh, good news. Oh, beautiful, beautiful energy. Okay, so the four of swords is the overall energy. This represents distance, this represents healing, this represents resting, um, thinking, the swords are our thoughts. This girl looks like she's like, oh, oh God, I just, I can't think about this anymore, or I just need a break. This someone, you, you could, this could be someone that you're on a break from, that you could have left in the past, or you could be at a distance from, someone that you broke off up with. Okay, so let's start with Capricorn. So we've got the Tower, Capricorn, the Nine of Wands. So take it how it resonates. If this is you and that's the other person, then that's, that's, that's who it is. But I'm just going to read it how I'm going to read it, which is you are the Tower. So this is a change that cannot be um that is destined you do not have control over this change the tower is not always bad i mean the surrounding cards it doesn't look too negative to be honest but this is an epiphany this is a wake-up call 
um, this is a shake up. This is a sudden change. This is the wounded warrior. So this could be the person that you was with in the past that was very guarded. You may have your guard up against this person. They may have hurt you. You may have hurt them. They want to come from a distance and this is going to shock the heebie-jeebies out of you to want to have another go at it. They want to take another leap of faith. They want to start a new cycle with you, okay? They want to offer you something. They've healed over the situation. They're wounded, but they have been healing. They've had a lot of time to think. And they've realized, this is what I want. I want to come and rebuild what I destroyed. And that's them. That's the outcome. Working. Working on fixing what they destroyed. This person is not giving up okay they're not giving up they're like i want to work on this it's going to take you by surprise but i would say to go for it if this is someone who treated you like proper shit in the past and you just don't want their energy then just say no if this isn't somebody from your past this is someone who maybe maybe has come over some sort of health issues and they're working on themselves and um, they're now ready to get back out there. This could be you who's, you know, overcome something, you've been healing, and now you're working on yourself, and you're going out to see the world, really. You may not be necessarily focused on love, you may just be focused on work, but either way, good news and abundance is coming to you. Okay? Now... Here, Virgo, we have the Page of Pentacles. This is you. The Eight of Cups and the Queen of Cups. So, somebody that you may have walked away from and became distant from, who you don't speak to, could be a distance from you, wants to make you an offer after leaving something behind to follow their true love, which is you. The Queen of Cups is the outcome, so it's going to be a loving, passionate communication, I would say, because this is a communication. This is you. This represents you, but I feel that this is you receiving a message from someone. Look at the way she's looking at it, like, hmm, okay, I hear you. I see you. And it's like she's looking at that pentacle like, is this for real? Is this counterfeit? But she's going to take that leap of faith. She's going to start a new chapter. And she's going to realise that this pentacle was in fact the gift of the universe. Oh my God. The camera was like, yes. That's right. <laughs> the camera was like, that's right. Sorry, guys. I don't even know how it was. Okay, I'm just going to leave it like that. Yeah, so either that or you are walking away from something and you're walking into your true love. Something very emotionally fulfilling, something very nurturing is the outcome. So hopefully this isn't an ex, but if this is someone that you took a break from, it could not necessarily be someone you went out with. Maybe you didn't have a chance to actually form a relationship with them because they had to work on things. But whoever it is or whatever it is, regardless of whether this is love or career, you're walking into something that's going to make you incredibly happy and fulfill your heart chakra. after leaving some bs behind right and taurus so there's an ending here but luckily it's the ten of swords so it's at the end there was some backstabbing some betrayal you had to heal from this situation okay you had to heal and after healing you're on to big and better things okay you rejected a person you've Went through some bullshit. You had to heal. You, Someone is feeling quite regretful on how they treated you. Um, someone feels like they missed out on opportunity. 
but you don't give a F because you're moving on. You're moving on to bigger and better things. Whoever this was that hurt you, don't worry. Karma is there for everyone. And what goes around comes back around. But either way, you are heading for big and better things. Say bye-bye to the past and hello to new beginnings. Look at all this. Look at all this. You had to fought your way, okay? And finally, you're getting what you want. Anyway, sorry about that, guys. Thank you, Earth Signs. If this resonated, please like, share, and subscribe, and or leave a comment. If it did not resonate, please check out your sun, your moon, your mooning, your moon, your rising, and your Venus and Jupiter. And thank you so much. Um, I think I've got all elements posted. Um, I will soon start to do actual individual signs and do like a longer reading and also introduce what's going on for career because not everybody wants to hear about love. Okay, but thank you for joining me and I'll see you next time. Goodbye.